Today we're taking a mismatched, beat up dining table and chairs and giving them a sleek new life with a fresh coat of black paint. Here's what this mismatched set looked like before. This table was pretty dinged up, but we bought this whole set for $130. The table was $50 and the chairs were $20 each. So how do you paint a dining table? You gotta pick the best paint for this job and make sure you do the prep before painting or else your dining table makeover won't look very good after it gets used for a little bit. First up, the prep. It's gotta be done right if you want your paint to stick around. Imagine having kids or pets messing up your paint job because you skipped the prep. No thanks. So clean everything with a good degreasing cleaner. We used crud cutter and a damp rag. We even added brush attachments to our drill to help us scrub off the food stains, grease, and grime. Once that's done, give it a good rinse with a clean water and let it dry. Next, grab some 150 grit sandpaper and medium grit foam pads for the curves and scuff everything up. You don't need to remove the old finish, you just need to roughen it up a bit and remove the shine so the paint and primer have something to grip onto. If you skip this step, your paint might not last as long. Trust me, a knife or a fork hitting the paint can chip it off if you haven't sanded it properly. Once you're done sanding, vacuum up the dust and wipe everything down with a tack cloth. Now, priming is another super important part. It helps the paint stick better and can even block stains from showing through your paint. And if you're painting black like us, this specific primer I used gives the paint better coverage. We used Aqualock primer in black. This primer is great because it's a sealer and it sticks really well. Plus, it's already black, so you save on the expensive paint. We mixed the primer into our beginner-friendly paint sprayer, thinned it out with about 20% water, even though I know it says not to, but it works for us. And I sprayed it onto all the surfaces. Painting chairs, though, can be tricky, but using a paint sprayer is way faster than using a brush or a roller. I set up this little paint booth in my garage with plastic hanging from the walls and this cardboard stuff on the floors to keep paint from getting all over. I sprayed the first coat on the chairs backwards from what I would actually recommend doing now. The little trick we found was to lay the chairs on their backs first, spray what we could, flip them over, and then spray what we could again, and then stand them up and spray the rest. Obviously, you need to let paint dry between each of those steps or make sure you can grab a place where it doesn't have wet paint when you're flipping the chairs over. You can totally do them any way you want. It just takes a little bit longer to get everything painted. All right, so after the primer dried, about an hour later, they didn't look half bad. But if you got real close and personal, you could spot a bunch of scratches and dings I hadn't bothered with on this table yet. So I took this chance to fill in those scratches with some plastic wood filler. I wouldn't use this for big old gouges, but for teeny tiny holes and scratches, it works like a charm. I filled them up and let the wood filler dry for a few hours before I smoothed everything down with 220 grit sandpaper. Then I gave everything a light sanding just to make it feel super smooth. I didn't want any roughness anywhere. Next step was to clean up the dust from the table and spray another coat on it to cover up the wood filler. Then I let that baby dry for another hour and voila! Depending on how good your spray coverage is, you might need one or two coats of primer to make sure it is all covered properly. Then I grabbed my sander, put it on the lowest speed possible, and used some fine grit foam pads to smooth everything out. My goal wasn't to sand off the primer, I just wanted the paint to feel nice and smooth. I put the sander on the lowest setting so then it wouldn't remove much primer at all. Then I vacuumed everything up again and wiped everything down again with a tack cloth to get rid of any leftover dust. 
Now, let's talk paint. When painting a dining table, the best paint to use is an alkyd or enamel type paint. These paints are way stronger and more durable than chalk paints and mineral paints. And a satin finish or a semi-gloss finish is way better than a matte finish, especially for dining tables and chairs because a satin or semi-gloss finish is way easier to clean up and keep looking fresh. So I use the Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel in Tricorn Black and in a satin sheen. I mix the paint with about 15% water and manage to paint the table and chairs with less than a quart of paint. This paint is self-leveling, so it's great for brushing or rolling, and you won't get much texture or brush marks left in the finish. But once again, painting all of these spindles will take a very, very, very long time if you're doing it by hand. With this paint, you do need to let it dry for about four hours between coats. I managed to get one full coat and most coverage, and then I sprayed a touch-up coat on the top of the table and the chairs where I needed a bit more paint. After everything dried, it looked so good. Oh, and this paint, it doesn't need a top coat. Actually, you should not use a top coat with this paint. Just let it dry for at least 24 hours before being very careful when you use it. And then just be extra careful with it for about 30 days until the paint is completely cured. So here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. This mismatch set turned out super cute, don't you think? It looks modern and sleek, all painted black, and it's now ready for its new home. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our videos. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.